BRST. <laughs> BRST, he, uh, he's it's part of our school. It's not very He's a Portland State Viking. Oh, the Portland State. Oh, so I apologize, Portland State. If you want to send a helmet, we'll remember your name next time. Kira, um, please. So that's your, that's your golf please. right there. And their one test they did have on the road versus Arizona took them late in the game. Please, Kira. Yeah. by one touchdown against Arizona last week. So, right. the first time who they've beaten as opposed to Stanford. That was an overtime, by the way. Yeah. Down the last minute, we were watching it, waiting for it to end because we couldn't get out of the studio until it was over. Meanwhile, you have Stanford has already run through Kansas State, USC, and UCLA. Can't argue with any of that. I'm going with of all the games that I've seen, all the travels, right? And I think we've been over this before. There are so many times where we've gone to the home. Who is it, Kira? Who is it? Kira? 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 Look! Look! You gonna play with it? This is a crazy theory, which I, I think you're gonna love that I'm doing this. But Who is the SEC it? theory over the years is that it's not just that the teams are good, it's that it's a little bit more physical, and then you'll see a team. Yeah, who is it? You'll see a team just it? sell out on a Saturday win, and they come back, and they're just so beat up from the game before that they look like a completely different team. I thought that UCLA Stanford game was that physical. Now the two back and forth are actually still good. Who is it? Is it you? Big enough to keep Stanford there. <laughs> <laughs>